Hi, I'm Crow. Welcome to Driftwood Hollow Drums. Uh, today we're looking at this flute. It's a sound demo, a uh, little video for you to come along here, have a listen to the flute. Uh, it's to accompany the listing on our Etsy shop. Uh, so here we are. You've probably seen the details on Etsy, you might have come here from there, or I'll put a link to the uh, listing below on the video. And this is the flute in question. It's a beautiful little beechwood flute. It's in the key of F sharp, and I've put F sharp on the back here, along with crow flutes, my maker's mark. Uh, on the bottom of the flute here, I put a howling wolf. Uh, nice design that I found I thought I'd pop that on there bring some wolf energy into the uh, equation uh, beautiful grain uh, you'll probably see that more easily on the photographs on the listing uh, on the top here we have a Lebanese cedar totem uh, which is classed as a holy wood I believe it's very beautiful to work with it's got a lovely aroma as well uh, I've bound this on, that was coming a little bit loose there, let's just give them that a tight and with some leather thong straps. So what I was just doing there was just tightening that up and that is an ongoing process with uh, Native American style flutes like this. It's important this block is tight down so every time you play you really need to, to check those position of the block and the tightness of those straps which I neglected to do before I picked the flute up to play for this video. Uh, I can't really think of anything else to tell you. It's a minor pentatonic scale. As I say, it's in the key of F sharp. It's probably one of the most popular keys uh, that people choose when uh, looking for a Native American flute because it's sort of, sort of somewhere in the middle. It's not too high, it's not too low. It's that middle range, which seems to be very appealing. Certainly, it's probably one of my favorite keys as well. So I'll stop rabbiting on. I uh, hope this has given you a more insight uh, to help you make that decision whether this is the right flute or not for you. Uh, oh yeah, I know what I wanted to just say to you at the very end. I wanted to apologise for the noise, the background noise. We've got, uh, we're in the yurt and there's overhanging branches and it's been raining, uh, drip, drip, drip. So we've got lots of drippy noises on the top of the canvas. So that's what all of that noise is about. And I do apologize. Uh, so yeah, I'll get off now. Lovely to see you, thanks for watching. Bye for now.